open. I like that he's opening up his game, but I don't love the hand selection here with such a weak draw and no spade in his hand. This is still not an easy call for Maria. No, it is not. Just ace high. She's got the non-professional betting, but she's coming back over the top with a wow. 3,800 total. Good read by Maria Ho. Holy shit, we are getting wrecked. Let me explain. See this huge tournament with millions of dollars on the table? Yeah, we're running one five times bigger. It's the World Championship in December with a $15 million prize pool. And over at WPT Global, we're giving away seats to it every day and eight seats every Sunday. Last weekend, we awarded eight seats and only 49 people entered. That cost us $72,000 in overlay. And this weekend, we're doing it again. Take advantage by signing up at wptglobal.com FB and use bonus code FB90. Brad Owen has already won two of these things. All right, the blinds are 50 and 100, Tony, with a $100 big blind. Annie, there you can see Barry Woods in for 50,000, Paul Kuzmich as well. Yeah, it feels like only a matter of time for Matt Berkey to make a final table with his skill and volume of play. But tonight, he lands at our televised final table cash game. A couple hundred thousand dollars spread around our table. Barry Woods raising the 10-7 suited on the cutoff. And he's going to get action with Matt, who has a nice suited connector, nine, eight of clubs. Oh, I like this three bet from Matt. Out of position, using the suited connector in his re-raise range. A lot of players miss these three bets, but Berkey, an experienced pro, does make the re-raise. And an interesting board for both these hands, Vince. Matt with bottom pair, three to a flush, three to a straight. Barry with middle pair, three to a flush, three to a straight. And it goes check, check on the flop. Jack of diamonds on the turn. We'll give Matt the open ender, Barry a gut shot to the nine, but can't be too enthusiastic about the strength of his hand here. On such a Broadway heavy board, Matt, that's 1,000. Barry makes the call. And we get the 10 on the river that will give Barry trips. So we'll see if Matt shuts it down. No, he's gonna try and bluff his way out of this one. He's gonna bet over pot $5,000 into 4,500. Yeah, Barry from Malibu, California, hitting. Nice card on the river. Easy call to make, of course. No raise there, and he is going to win it and like that one. Well, it didn't work out for Matt, but I like his bluff attempt on the river. I don't think his eight is very likely to be good, so trying to bluff Barry off a jack or perhaps a weak ace. Uh, any fun. But any Barry, fun. of course, with trips, not laying that one down. And it looks like Matt Berkey will top up for an extra 5,000. Bay, I'm really digging your jacket. That's Thank you. Very nice looking. You should be a movie star. I got it, uh, <laughs> got it in Morocco uh, two years ago. Nice. No BS, Vince. Kitty Kuo is one of my favorite people to play live poker with. I always know it's going to be a fun day when we land at the same table. We have Mike Nori on the button. Cash Game Pro raising up Jack 10 offsuit to 300. Paul in the big blind will take him up on it. We get a queen 10 6 all club flop much better for Mike than Paul. So he will follow through with 300. Paul with the bottom pair, going to stick around. Yeah, he's a chef. He's a caterer from Austin, Texas. Four hearts on the turn. Mike still likes where he is in this hand. We'll bet 800. Paul will drop out like me in college. <laughs> well, there you go. Quick win there for Mike Nori, 32 years old, the nickname of Potato. And he says he's a mixed game specialist. Wonder how he got that nickname, Potato, the distinctive one. You never forget a person named Potato. Kitty with the ace four spades will open our action to 300. Matt will make the call with queen jack. I think Matt is going to play a little extra loose on the cutoff today, trusting that Button is not going to abuse him too much for it. Barry will come along in the big blind with king seven, so three ways to our flop of three, three, six, two clubs. Kitty with a quick check. A very quick checks around. Five on the turn, an interesting card. Barry, two over cards and a gut shot. Kitty open-ended. I'd like to see Kitty do some betting here, but 
Mixing and check seems like a good plan too. And everyone checks around. Okay, this is the last time I'm gonna check. A 10 of diamonds on the river. So three players have completely whiffed on this board. Who wants it? Will it be Matt Berkey with a bet on the river? He does kind of have the bottom of his range. So I like this bet from Matt. Senses a bunch of weakness in his opponents. Got a thousand dollars and gets them to go away. Not one bet. We played that game. Yeah. How many hoodies that you had? You you had us at the table. Guess how many hoodies you had. Me? Yeah. yeah. How many you own? No, it, no. How it about? was it was something like a hundred and twenty, uh, three hundred and something. It was unbelievably date. Nobody gave him. We played. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I won thousand, right? Uh, yeah, you had a like unbelievable amount. All my roommate complain. No more clothes, please. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do after you don't wear it for a while? Like, do donate. you? Okay. Yeah, I donate to, to people. To, to friends or like? No, the kids, like a, like a boarding school kids stuff. In Taiwan, all my shoes, all my clothes. They're just getting brand. Yeah, there's and... school walking around with all the kids <laughs> have Chanel and Hermes clothes. Can't afford a book. You should resell them and donate the money. I mean, I can resell. I just no time doing the, the stuff. Yeah. I can just donate it. People, they need the clothes and shoes. Yeah, but they don't need those clothes. Yeah. <laughs> for one hoodie, you could buy a whole wardrobe for them. Right. right. You could feed a small nation if you just, <laughs> just sold it on a secondary market first. Right, Kitty, one of the most fashionable players in poker. Russell doesn't have any space. He has a little... If there was a best dress list in poker, she would be a perennial favorite. Maria Ho house, finds I'm pocket aces, house, so opens our action to 300. Very. Getting in the mix with three deuce of spades. Wants to see some flops. Matt calls Queen Jack from the small blind. And Paul will be a fourth with the 7-5 offsuit from the big blind. So Maria getting plenty of action with her aces. And a pretty good looking board for her hand. King 7-6. Paul the only one who meaningfully connects here. So Maria follows through with 500. And it folds back to Paul with second pair, three to a straight. He'll make the call. Ace on the turn will lock this pot up for Maria, but also prevent Paul from losing much more in this hand. Can't like where he is now on that card. So Maria bets half pot and Paul goes away. Yeah, Maria pushes out the chef. Maria Ho, 38 years old, poker pro out of Los Angeles, and she has won over one million on the World Poker Tour. Well, we recently saw her on the final table from one of our seminal hard rock events. They generate huge fields down yeah. there. Maria navigated her way to the final table. Came away with a big score, but still looking for her first WPT title. Well, both these players are trying to get 86 tier events. Matt raises the 8-6 of spades. Paul calls 8-6 offsuit. Barry with ace three of diamonds and elects to call. Kitty with a nice looking king queen drops out. Seems a little more interested in her food right now. And Mike will complete from the big blind with the jack deuce of hearts. So four ways yet again. And it is jack seven three, two clubs. Well, look at this. Drinks are arriving at the table. Barry, it's just a special for you. I drink, I drink in the margarita, okay? Mm. Oh yeah, that's fine. You know, this is my I'll drink pre-workout. Tell me, uh, is it, what is it to me? Cheers, cheers, Paul. Cheers, nice to meet you. Cheers, Mike. Okay. Cheers, cheers, Barry. Yeah, let's get lit. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Normally people say, well, you shouldn't be drinking at the table, but in a cash game, it kind of relaxes you sometimes. It opens up the game a bit. It makes people think you're gonna play a little looser, and maybe you will, so that's what they're doing. It's a social occasion. If I make a yep. final table, I don't really want to be drinking, but you invite me to a cash game and start the drinks flowing, I'm game. And it doesn't look good if you reject it, too. I agree. You know, it just looks like, oh, I'm just here to win money. And... I'm all business today. Yeah. We're supposed to be having fun. Mr. Malibu sucking that drink down. Things are working out for Barry Wood so far. And Barry's going to bet with a little pair of threes here. Paul with eight high, of course, cannot call. So Barry turns his bottom pair into a bluff. Pushes out Mike Nori, takes down a nice pot. One card? Is he gonna show the bluff? Yes, he does. I don't bluff. You do. <laughs> <laughs> now Kitty picked that one up. 
So they're having a good time. They're sipping their drinks. Everyone's social. No pain at the table so far. We are in Las Vegas for this cash game. Things just warming up. And it's a good sign if the drinks are flowing in the first orbit, Vince. Um, this whole playing poker thing is getting in the way of my shot taking, <laughs> but that's fine. Why don't we take a break? <laughs> it's kind of hard to look at my cards with a shot. Yeah. Uh, poker's interrupting the flow of drinking. Mike, I feel so uncomfortable with where you put your oh. your shot. Yes. Yeah. You're well, I was man. trying to like. You're the man. I've spilled a few drinks at the table, I have to say. You know, it's good luck. It oh, just yeah. feels like an accident yeah. waiting to happen. We don't trust the men, by the way, on the table. So just Why it. not? Because you guys always mess on the table. <laughs> this is a generalization. <laughs> Holy shit, we are getting wrecked. Let me explain. See this huge tournament with millions of dollars on the table? Yeah, we're running one five times bigger. It's the World Championship in December with a $15 million prize pool. And over at WPT Global, we're giving away seats to it every day and eight seats every Sunday. Last weekend, we awarded eight seats and only 49 people entered. That cost us $72,000 in overlay. And this weekend, we're doing it again. Take advantage by signing up at WPTGlobal.com FB and use bonus code FB90. Brad Owen has already won two of these things. Welcome back to the WPT Cash Game in Las Vegas, where we pick up the action on the flop. Maria Ho raced the straddle to 500 pre-flop with a pair of sevens. Matt Berkey and Paul Kuzmich called, and on this king 8-6 flop, Maria continues with a bet of 500 more. Matt will continue with the call, and Paul drops out. Queen of Spades on the turn. Not the card Maria was looking for. So it does go check, check. And a four on the river will give Matt bottom pair. He may want to show it down or he may want to turn his hand into a bluff. What will it be? His pot is 2,600. Look at this, Matt going huge, best 3,500. Definitely turning his hand into a bluff, trying to represent a rivered straight or top two pair on the turn. Maria sevens. Not looking so hot as she peeks down at them. She'll get out of the way. <laughs> they were the same. Okay, and now this time, Potato, that's Mike Nori, is going to be a straddler. So he makes it 200 to go. Matt goes out, and the caterer, Paul, Jack Nine, makes it 600. By the way, he catered for a couple of big movies, Pirates of the Caribbean. I mean, that's a lot of extras out there. Those so, are huge productions. Yeah, yep, and Fast and Furious. So he has these big productions where he's just giving food out to everyone. I wonder why he's playing in a big cash game. He's gone up to 600 with Jack Nine of Diamonds, but Kitty will three bet to 2,400 with the Queen Jack of Spades. 24? 24, yeah. Back on Paul, he likes the action. Gonna make this call with his jack nine. So here we go with the flop. It's a queen nine four. Kitty hitting queens, Paul hitting nines. Dangerous flop for Paul here. Middle pair and a couple of backdoor draws. James, right. 18? Basing a bet at 1800, makes the quick call. Auto call. So about nine grand going to the turn. And it is the Five of Hearts, pretty relevant card. Kitty. Going. Gonna go all in, wow, 12,000 over pot jam. And I like her bet, but I don't love the sizing. Hard to get called by nice worse stuff. when you put that much money in in Kitty's shoes. Give you a hundred if it's a bluff. Mm -hmm. You wanna know how much? It's like, like 12. You don't trust a female, don't you? She, big bluff? I mean, sometimes, maybe. No, never, <laughs> never. You never know. When was the last time you bluffed? Yeah. Oh. Wh which, which year? You mean a uh, year? Yeah. I, I... <laughs> was it like 2018? <laughs> oh, they're on to her. Carl 
March. <laughs> I'll help you out, Kitty. Kitty's actually bluffed me, but, like tr bluffed me, but I actually just had it. But I can say that Kitty has some bluffs climb. sometimes. Kitty's got a little bit too much street cred with her bluffs. In I was bluffing too much before. People call me Jack High all the time. Call you a Jack High? All the time. Sure Sometimes people ever. call me like really light. Then I try to slow down, you know? <laughs> Come on, guys. Meow. <laughs> was that a meow? Yes. <laughs> She's going to raise you here for sure. Oh, you with me, huh? Yeah. She is now resorted to cat talk with an ace jack. Makes it 1,200 to go. I've played poker a long time. I know what's happening. <laughs> At least I think I do. How about Wong Wong? What's that mean? I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Okay. <laughs> and the flop is an 884. It's neither player. Out of 2,600, 19? Kitty, with the big bet of 1,900, a little surprised as this board does favor the caller and Barry at Woods, but Barry sitting there with the queen, three of hearts. Is this one of those bluffs? Doesn't have much to do as Kitty flashes him the double peace sign. Well, oh, Barry getting out of that. It's right in my wheelhouse. I'm not yours. This isn't my home, OK? You go to LA. <laughs> <laughs> okay. home, I'm folding an eight, but it's uh, I have a bad kicker. <laughs> when you go to LA, you can do whatever you want, OK? OK, they're having fun. They're lying. Kitty taking down two pots in a row. Oh, not playing the seven deuce game here tonight. Drops out of that one. Over to Barry now. Not going to play. Kitty with the ace jack of clubs. Makes a raise to 300. Into Potato, who wants no part of that, goes out. And Matt will stick around with his jack 10. Two way action. Here is the flop 954. Great looking flop for Kitty. Not a bad one for Matt Berkey. Two over cards, three to a straight, three to a flush. We'll see if he wants to continue when he faces this bet of 500 from Kitty. Well, Matt is a tough competitor. I mean, he hasn't picked up many cards tonight, but he's got a good read on the table. He's going to make this call and a nine on the turn. Well, that's a card that certainly favors Matt's range. A lot of players lead out when the board pairs on a card that favors them, and Matt will do the same, leads 500 into Kitty. Kitty will make the call with her ace high flush draw. And we will see a river that is the queen of diamonds. So both players miss. We've seen Matt bluff his way out on the river before. Will he attempt it again? Look at this. He is going to take a big stab. That's a $5,500 bet with nothing. Oh, I love it, Vince. Really tough spot for Kitty to call with a pair. She doesn't even have a pair, so she'll drop out. And Matt takes that one down with a very well-played jack high. There's one great thing about when you play poker and you're winning with bluffs, you really feel good about yourself. Yeah, he's only made the one hand with the backdoor Broadway against Paul. All his other big bets have been bluffs, but nobody has looked him up yet. So Matt kind of running circles around the table for the moment. Action over to Barry here. Not going to play his jack nine. But you had Kitty going out. Oh, a six. I thought you said two sixes. Sorry. Yeah, potato was... is going to look down okay. at his hand. He quickly folds. So over to Paul in the small blind with the nine five of hearts. And he will make a big raise up to 700. Perhaps thinking the straddle is still on, goes with the huge sizing. Maria, with ace deuce in position, makes this call. So a couple of speculative hands going to the flop. And it is queen 10, four, two spades, and a diamond. Maria still in the lead, and with the crucial ace of spades in her hand here. But Paul, undeterred, bet 600 on the flop. And Maria should have enough of this board yeah. to continue, and she seems to agree, makes this call. Turn the king of hearts. Not much happening for Paul here, just a gut shot to the jack that would give Maria over straight. And so far tonight, Paul has been pretty solid, but going to try and bluff his way out of this one. I like that he's opening up his game, but I don't love the hand selection here with such a weak draw and no spade in his hand. 
Well, this is still not an easy call for Maria. No, it is not. Just ace high. She's got the non-professional betting, but she's coming back over the top with a wow. 3,800 total. Good read by Maria Ho. Maria going to represent the straight or two pair. Raises it up to 3,800. Pushes Paul out of that pot. And the caterer has to call it a wrap. Maria Ho taking that one down. We're coming back with more action on the World Poker Tour in just a minute. Holy shit, we are getting wrecked. Let me explain. See this huge tournament with millions of dollars on the table? Yeah, we're running one five times bigger. It's the World Championship in December with a $15 million prize pool. And over at WPT Global, we're giving away seats to it every day and eight seats every Sunday. Last weekend, we awarded eight seats and only 49 people entered. That cost us $72,000 in overlay. And this weekend, we're doing it again. Take advantage by signing up at WPTGlobal.com FB and use bonus code FB90. Brad Owen has already won two of these things. Yeah, welcome back to the World Poker Tour. Matt Berkey looking good, hitting that hand early on. Now he's opened up his game. He's pulling off some bluffs. Well done. That's not true. Yeah, Matt kind of running circles around the table for the moment. Mentioned that backdoor straight he hit against Paul. Since then, he has bluffed his way out of all his troublesome spots. Our big winner for the moment. Got a bunch of folds, and now Kitty with Ace Jack has raised it up, and Matt with a suited connector will make this call. And I think Matt would mix in calls and three bets here with the 6 5 of clubs. This time, the call leads to a 10 8 deuce, two called flop. Five. So he will check over to Kitty. She will bet 500. And Matt will consider how he wants to continue here. It's going to be a check raise to 2,200. Push him towards the muck. Plays awfully quick. Makes decisions very quick. Yes, she does. Don't know whether that's to her detriment or not. I think it could be. There's no deception in her pausing and waiting and looking. She just plays more ABC computer type of poker, at least in this cash game. OK, on to Maria Ho, who quickly folds. And now Barry with Ace King will make it 300. Kitty out. Mike Nori Ooh. with the surprising three bet with pocket fives up to 1,200. Most of these small and middle pairs call in position, but it is good to mix in some three bets to keep your opponents on their toes. However, Barry here with Ace King gonna make Mike pay the price and four bets up to 3,400. First three bet, you never have it, right? Old guys always have it. Yeah. Old guys Why don't, don't bluff. I have it ever. You're only relatively old. He's just old, old. Everything's relative. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Tato probably regretting that three bet there. He had such a nice hand to call in position. Quick fold by Kitty. Potato also out. Matt not going to play. But Paul the caterer with the pair of sixes makes it 300 to go. Maria out. And Barry once again with ace king. So the two non professionals are going to compete. Barry's going to raise it up. Do you have it, Barry? I do. I'll show you if you want me. Mm, I got to pay for it. OK, so we have action. Sixes versus ace king. I forgot what I had now. Oh, yeah. Jack 6-4 on the flop and a particularly lucky board for Paul as Matt Berkey folded the other six in the deck. And he may get some action here, Barry, with ace king and the ace of spades, two over cards, backdoor straight and flush draw. He'll fire out 1,500. Paul oh, can't believe it. Finally, well out in front. He's been on the losing side tonight. This could be comeback time. Let's see the turn. Five of diamonds. Doesn't change much. And Barry looks like he's still going to put in another bet. I don't love this bet from Barry. This five of diamonds really improves the range that Paul gets to the turn with. He's the one that has the suited connectors, the sets, more jacks. 
And so Paul will jam the remainder of his stack in here, just under 15,000 there. I like Paul's jam very much. It's such roughly. a dynamic it's board. Uh, nine, 10, in the event 13, that Barry has a overpair, it would be tough for him to get away. I don't have such a good hand, but I'm going to say that again. Betting that you don't have anything. Do you have your bag? And Barry, with the ace king here, seems to be considering it, but this strikes me as a particularly poor I'm hand so to call this him. jam with as anyway. he is blocking the ace high flush draws. He's, he is from LA. There's a little bit of theatrics in him. All right. Nice hand, sir. Show the bluff. No, don't show. <laughs> He's finally going to get out of the way.